So in this video, we're going to look at how to edit the chords that are available to you when you select an instrument in GarageBand. This is a great way to simplify the process and only have the chords that you need visible. But you can also use this to add additional chords for more complex songs at a later stage. First, tap on the wrench in the top right to go to settings and then tap edit chords. For this example, we're going to set up our chord strips just to show C, G, A minor and F of the 1564 chord progression. For chords you don't require, tap on them and then scroll on the chord options at the top to set it to none. You can also change one of the preset chords to one of your choosing. For example, let's change the D minor to a C major. You'll notice here that I have to change the chord letter, but also the type of chord from minor to major. Then repeat this process until you have C, G, A minor and F, the 1, 5, 6, 4 chord progression. In this example, F doesn't need to be changed. So move on to the final two chords and set these to none. When you're ready, tap done at the top right of the screen. You'll then see that you're just left with the four chords you require in the correct order. And once you do this for one instrument, you don't have to repeat it for any others you may add. Thank you.